Why is it important to connect context, a story, to math, and how can a math rack help deepen students' understanding? I am Lynn Rule, a primary teacher for 36 years and now the math consultant for MathRack. By teaching math using a context which children can connect to is essential to their understanding. For instance, after reading a story involving a bunk bed at a sleepover, the sleepover, apple boxes and bunk beds by Kathy Fosno, for instance, the teacher can use the MathRack 20 to solve word problems using addition and subtraction involving situations of joining, separating, putting together and comparing with unknowns in all positions. The top bunk would be represented by the top row of beads and the lower bunk would be represented by the bottom row of beads. The teacher would create a problem using the bunk beds and the children would move the beads on the Math Rack 20 to model the situation. Once the beads are moved, discuss the solution and ask children to justify their answer. The teacher may also want to extend the conversation to how do you know and or what do you see. For instance, 7 plus 8 may be seen as 7 plus 7 plus 1, or 8 plus 8 minus 1, or 10 plus 5, etc. Let's see an example using a double-decker bus. Good morning, first graders. Good morning. What do you say? Good morning. Good morning. What are we going to work on today? Math. math. I would like you to get out your math racks. Put them on your desk. Make sure you have white to the right. White to the right, excellent. Now I want you to listen carefully to directions. Ready, Parker? I want you to stand up, push in your chairs. Uh, if you are wearing blue, bring your math rack and come and join me on the floor. If you are wearing green, ready? Okay, first graders, do you remember yesterday when we read the story, the double-decker bus? If you remember, put one hand on your head. Okay, put your hands down. Well, we're going to do some situations where I want you to use the math rack to figure out how many passengers are on the bus. Are you ready? So the first thing I want to tell you is there are 12 people on the bus. 12 people on the bus. But there are eight people on the top of the bus. How many people are on the bottom of the bus? Okay, let's see. Use your math rack. What do we know? How many were on the top? I mean, how many people were on the bus? Twelve. Twelve. Twelve people were on the bus. And how many were on the top of the deck? Uh, Bavia, eight. eight. I need to know how many are on the bottom of the bus. Raise your hand when you have an answer. Raise your hand when you have an answer. Kate, how many were on the bus? There was um, twelve, twelve. On the bus. Twelve. Twelve on the bus. Okay. And Emily, how many are on the top of the row? Eight. eight. So I'm going to push over eight. Okay, ready? Scarlett, how many are on the bottom of the bus? Four. On the four. How'd you get four? Um, I know that um, um, eight plus two equals ten, and then I knew that eight plus three equals um, eleven. So um, it would be eight plus four equals twelve. Wow, I like how you used what you know to figure out what you don't know. Edward, how did you figure out how many were on the bottom? Um, two. Uh, because, um, well, wait a minute. There was 12 total. Eight on the top. How many are on the bottom? Two. Two. Let's see. So now what do we have, Edward? Uh, no. Eight, uh, nine, ten. ten. So how many have to be on the bottom? Uh, Emily? Four. Four. How did you figure it out? Because um, 8 plus 2 equals 10, and 10 plus... Um, so 8 plus 2 equals 10, and 10 plus 2 equals 12. 10 plus 2 equals 12, and you knew that 2 plus 2 equals 4. 4. Okay, okay. Let's put our hands down. Let's try another one. Push them all back. This time, there are 8 girls on the top deck and there are five boys on the bottom deck. How many are there all together on the double decker bus? Okay, figure it out. Bottom. Eight on the top and five on the bottom. I want to know how many there are all together. Talk with somebody sitting next to you. What do you know? Talk with your neighbor. Uh, let's see. Uh, 
Let's see. Emily. It equals 13. Okay, it equals 13. How did you get that? Because take away the 3. Okay. And 5 plus 5 equals 10. So 5 plus 5 equals 10. And 10 plus 3 equals 13. And 10 plus 3 equals 13. Josh, I think that's what you saw quickly. You just weren't able to tell because you had the answer really quick. Another idea. Um, Piper. So the answer is 13 because I know that if we're getting 8, it's 5 and 3. So I would add, um, so I would break up the 8 and add a 5 to the 5. Oh, you'd break the, up the 8. Okay, so you're going to break up the 8 and, and you're going to take this a 5 and, and a 3. And I would use a 5 and 5 to make a 10. And five plus, and ten plus three equals thirteen. Ten plus three equals thirteen. Layla, would you tell them what you did? What did you know about the last problem, Layla? So. The last problem we said. Eight plus. Eight plus four equals twelve. So eight plus five equals thirteen. Correct. Does the math rack help us with our situations on the bus? Uh -huh. yes. Yeah. Can you think of another place that you could use a math rack that you could do this? Um, Reese Ann. Um, at a park? At a park? I have a question. Could you do it if you were working on a sl uh, bunk bed? Yes. Partiff, could you have a bunk bed that there's some on the top and some on the bottom? Yeah, could you do it on a fence? Like yeah. some on the top of the fence and some on the bottom of the fence? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so you could use a math rack in all kinds of situations. You may put your hands down. Thank you. As you may have noticed, Janine modifies her lessons to meet the needs of her students just like you can do in your classroom. When using the Math Rack Activity Cards, you will see that there are 13 problem-solving cards that are labeled PS 1 through 13. The context of the card will reflect one of the 12 situations of problem-solving and be modeled on the Math Rack. The cards are to give a teacher, parent, or aide direction to experience the situations of problem-solving. You can download these activities free or purchase the MathRack activity cards online at mathrack.com.